So, Ronnie, you know, a couple weeks in now, how have you found the transition to the major leagues? How comfortable have you been so far? I feel good. I, I kind of knew what to expect um, when, I was, when, I, when I was down there because this is what I, I prepared myself for. And all the work that, I've, that, 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 I've, that I had been doing, it, it prepared me for this moment. What is the one thing, though, even though you've had such success, that is noticeably different up here than at any level of the minor league? I think for me it's the focus, uh, to having the consistent focus in order to, to help your team win. Some days you're going to be going through a slump, but there are different ways to be able to help the team. If I'm, let's say, not hitting, I can make a defensive play to change the game. I can, I can steal a base. So, yeah, it, um, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter what my what my personal achievements are or what my personal stats are as long as I'm helping the team I think that's the most important thing. Ronnie, well, how did you become a switch hitter and, and why did you decide to do that? Pero yo empecé desde chiquita, desde pequeña, desde que empecé a jugar como al año de una vez. So I originally started um just as a as a right-handed hitter and then and then my trainer was like we should, you know, we should work on on uh on switch hitting and within like the week of doing it I was actually facing like live live pitchers and and I felt comfortable, almost as if it was like it was just natural to me. But um, yeah, since I was a little kid, I've, I've been doing it. So right now, it feels it just feels natural. So it took a week, and you were you were all in. You were totally natural hitting lefty. Yo di una línea para center Yeah, no, I I remember the the first the first at bat that I took as as a left-handed hitter. I hit a line drive to center field. Pretty amazing. Uh, so you you know you're a versatile guy as a hitter. You're also a really tall guy, and when you see tall hitters specifically a lot of them have kind of looping swings you've got a really level swing from both sides how have you been able to to maintain that type of a level swing with the the height that you have in the box yeah i try to stay very tall when i'm when i'm when i'm swinging like I, i practice that a lot sometimes i feel like if i if i get down too much i lose the i lose the the power in my swing so, so I really focus on that. I'm just trying to stay level and trying to stay balanced. Finally, Ronnie, you know, some people think, hey, you're a shortstop, you can do anything. You can play any position on the infield. But obviously there's nuance to each spot along the diamond. For you, what is the biggest difference between shortstop, second base, third base? Y segunda es muy diferente a si y a tercera porque en segunda la bola te hacen diferente. Between third and short, it's not too different. The only difference is for me is is that the ball gets on you quicker at third base, but second base is different from third and short just because the ball just bounces different and, and, and just kind of the way that the ball gets on you is it's just a little bit different compared to those. Ronnie, appreciate the time. It's been fun to watch so far. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you.